cheap laser level review. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video we've got Elliot from eFry Gas Services and Elliot's going to show us a cheap laser level that he's bought. Um, unfortunately he's got Covid at the moment so he's off work and he thought he'd send us a few videos. So this video today, personally I've got a Hilti and I've had this for maybe about seven years now. Very expensive, it was about probably about I don't know might be about 500 quid 400 odd pound when I bought it it was quite expensive I can't remember um but yeah I'm gonna sh we'll show you Elliot's if you can put a comment below and let me know who who you think is the most sensible buy something that's really expensive or buy something that's cheap um horses for courses depends how much you use it as well without further ado let's go over to Elliot Hello to the Alan Hart fan club. On gas chat and things like that, we're always banging on about tools, so I thought Alan might have something a little bit different, some tools. Um, for £36.49 and pence with free postage, I bought myself a cheap green laser level, and here it is. The second video I've done, because the first one I was waffling, as ever. Um, this is it. My prerequisites for buying one of these is I wanted a green laser because um, green's the way forward apparently according to all the uh, people on gas chat and check tool, talk and all this sort of stuff. Um, the other thing, I wanted it rechargeable. I didn't want to be throwing AA batteries in it every 10 seconds. Um, and I wanted it to have the cross. So I've got one laser there, one laser here. And, excuse me, one laser beneath. <clears throat> and that was what I was looking for. And self-leveling. I didn't want to have to, you know, deal with that. I wanted it straightforward. And the cheapest one I found was £36.49. pence. Um, all those things. Yes, I may have found one cheaper, but I didn't. Of course, I'd have liked to get a Milwaukee version. Um, because I've got all Milwaukee tools. Um, and the 12 volt batteries would have gone in it. But this was the next best thing, and for the money, I thought that was fairly good. I know people out there will go, oh, it's a piece of crap, it's not as good as my one. Yeah, probably. But I don't, <laughs> I don't make as much money as some of the people out there who don't get out of bed for less than £3,000 a day. Um, so I thought I'd go with this. And to be honest, it comes in a half decent case. <clears throat> Um, delivery was two days on eBay. Um, what's this? Some form of platey something, something, something. Don't know, haven't looked at it. With something else in there. A wall plate. So I'll probably get one of those wall to ceiling. Um, oh, ratchet things. My brain is horrendous with bloody COVID. Honestly, it's really gone. I don't know why. Not that I was made any sense before. Um, right, so battery just slides in. There is an on and off on one side here. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> so you have, let's see if we can get something. Oh, yeah, I know, and not get laser in my eyes. So there's just a cross one there. And then you've got V and H. So that'll give you going up and across, and then um, I think there was another what setting I did a second ago, but I don't know, because I'm not going to read the booklet, being a man, even though it's, see, it's all the way over there, all the way, I'm not going to pick it up. Um, ah, and that line there, so one, two, and then three. So that's quite cool, if you listen, starts flashing the lines, starts bleeping at you, letting you know that you're off level. Um, I think that's really cool, personally. This one here would appear a brighter... Ah, turning the lines off individually. There we go, on selected lines. I don't know how to use it completely, but that's it. For the money, try not to get this laser in my eye. Um, for the money, I thought that was pretty good. Um, yeah, £36.49. Let's just turn this off before I keep lasering myself in the eye. There we go. Um, I thought that was quite reasonable. Part number, if you're interested in, or I don't know how to do it. They used to have it up here years ago, didn't they? Back when eBay was, here we go. 
No, 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 no. I don't know. But for the money, I thought I'll give it a go. And if I wreck it, I'm not going to be crying. Um, but yeah, seems fine. Two rechargeable batteries. So I'm quite happy with that. Yes, I know it's not going to be as cool as some of you cool cats out there um, with your awesome laser levels. But if you're looking for something more affordable, um, go with this. Especially if you're starting up and you really want a laser level. I mean, I've lost it with that laser level for... Um, how old am I now? I'm 38. Um, and I did it straight out of school. I was 15, 16. So 22 years. Um, I mean, laser levels weren't really a thing back then, but they seem to be very popular now. Um, but I thought I'd treat myself to an inexpensive one because I do get out of bed for less than £3,000 a morning. So I can't afford to buy all the latest kit. And I don't do debt. I cannot get in debt, otherwise I can't sleep. So if you're like me and you don't want to be spending massive amounts of money and getting yourself in debt, um, then yeah, there we go. Hopefully this helps. Cheerio. Thank you very much for that, Elliot. And it looks great, to be honest, for money. Um, you can't fault it. Let us know how you get on with it um, over, over a long time. As I say, I've had this silly one for quite a lot of years um, and it's it's been all right for me. I actually, when I first got that laser level as well, I dropped it down, I had it on top of some stairs, at top of the stairs, and I knocked it off and it smashed all the way downstairs and smashed the bits. And I took it back to Wilty and they actually repaired it or they mended it for free. So. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been knocked about, I've, I've tried it a bit better than that since, but let me know below what you think, is it worth spending more money and getting something expensive? I think the other, the other thing as well is nowadays vans are getting robbed left, right and centre. Is it actually worth buying expensive tools anymore? You know, is it better just to buy cheap tools and then if your van does get robbed, it's not going to cost you as much? To replace them food for thought i suppose really um i'm still doing my bathroom up here i'll do do another video if anybody's interested i'll do another video up here and i'll show you what i'm doing up here but yeah thanks for watching